Bursting border. Although the number of migrants apprehended at the border fell last month, they are still at the highest levels in a decade. Good evening. I'm Owen Evans. And I'm Kyla Wilcher. With close to 800,000 migrants held so far this fiscal year, detention centers are bursting at the seams, and lawmakers are searching for answers. As Julian Paras reports from our Washington Bureau. Unsanitary conditions and untreated illnesses, overcrowding, overworked staff, even allegations of sexual assault. Everyone at today's Senate Homeland Security Committee hearing agreed there's a problem at the border that needs to be addressed. But coming up with an answer was elusive. Few issues we face are as complex as this one. But today I hope we can find common ground, identify bipartisan solutions, and deliver real comprehensive results for the American people. Before they can agree on a solution, lawmakers have to agree on a problem, and senators had different takes. For Republicans like Committee Chairman Ron Johnson, the problem won't go away as long as U.S. immigration laws provide an incentive for migrants to risk the trek here. What I would suggest is the solution which we've been suggesting all along is, in this case, with this problem in the here and now, is let's address the root cause, this uncontrolled flow of individuals. Democrats say what's needed is action now. Better treatment for migrants, uniform policies, more beds, and better oversight of customs and border protection workers. But acting CBP Commissioner Mark Morgan told the committee that his officers are already doing a lot. We are comforting infants. We're taking the sick to the hospital, averaging over 800 hospital visits per day. We are expanding our medical care, ensuring children are provided medical screenings. We're building soft-sided facilities to provide a more adequate environment for families and children. No one downplayed the hard work of frontline officers, but some questioned the transparency of the agency's higher-ups. When senior officials from the Border Patrol refuse to be transparent or seek to mislead Congress, it does serious damage to the credibility of the entire Border Patrol. And most importantly, it undermines the security and humanitarian mission that we are all grappling with. Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema asked what's being done to address reports that children detained in Yuma may have been sexually assaulted. Morgan said the CBP is working closely with other agencies to get those reports sooner and act on them immediately. While no firm solution was reached, senators seem optimistic. We now have an opportunity to examine uh, where we have failed and where we have succeeded and put lessons into practice. Morgan has also said CBP has spent, quote, tens of millions of dollars to improve conditions throughout southern border facilities and is on pace to spend $700 million to improve detention center conditions. In Washington, Julian Paras, Cronkite News.